Hi Libra! Welcome back. We are Twin Oracles back again to do a today's tarot for you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for liking this video upon entering. Thank you all for subscribing to Twin Oracles. We're truly grateful and thankful to have each and every one of you here. Thank you all for your time. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And let's dive into the cards and see what they have to say to you for you today. Now, whenever this video finds you, Libra, that's when it will most resonate with you. I'm picking up that some of you will be watching this video either on a new moon, on a full moon, and for some of you, you're watching this on your birthday. So for those of you that are watching this video on your birthday, Libra, happy birthday to you. Hope it's wonderful. Wishing you all the best. Wishing all your dreams come true from both of us to all of you and each and every one of you. Let's dive in and see what the most important message is for Libra. Um, so I was picking up that you don't see this yet and you don't see evidence of this yet, Libra, but there is a change a coming. Change is a coming, Libra. Change is upon you. There's been something or areas or an area it's a general reading, so it's going to be different for each of you. But there's been an area or areas in your life that have been off balance, okay? So whether that be financially, whether that be in love, whatever that might be, the areas or area where things have been off balance, things are coming into balance. Things are moving. Things are changing. There's forward movement. Now, Libra, you might not be seeing evidence of this yet. However, you feel it. You can feel it, Libra. You, you don't see it yet, but there's this feeling, but you just don't see it yet. For some of you, for a very small group of you, you, you don't know it yet. You don't even feel this yet, okay? But for majority of you, you're feeling it. You're feeling there's something different. There's change in the air. The winds are blowing. Something's changing. And you've been waiting for this for quite some time, Libra. And now it's coming. Now things are changing. Now things are moving. So that's the channeled message that I was getting for you, Libra. If that resonates, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for doing that. And if that's something that you're longing for, change and forward movement and growth and expansion, comment down below. The best way to manifest your dreams come true is to speak it aloud or to comment it or type it or even write it out. Okay, so claim this to be yours. If you're looking for this, Libra, claim this video to be yours and affirm it. Affirm it down below and say, I affirm this to be my truth right here, right now, where the winds of change are blowing in my favor. And things are moving forward for me and I'm receiving blessings. Okay, Libra? So let's see what the cards have to say for you today. So for some of you, you know, you're even expecting change because it's like you've changed so many things in your life. You know, you've left people behind. You've done things differently. You've moved things in, around in your house. 27 things have been moved. <laughs> 27. Don't know why 27, you know, and you've done things differently and you're expecting the best and you're you're moving on from things. You've changed things up. For some of you, you've been reprogramming your mind. You've been doing things differently in life. And you, for some of you, you're expecting this change. You're waiting for it. You're expecting it. This is the change here. This is the change. Things didn't work for you in the past. They weren't working. And so you took some time out, Libra. Some of you took a lot of time out. Some of you took some time off. Um, you know, for some of you, three weeks. For some of you, three months. For some of you, three years. For some of you, longer. And, you know, you took this time out. You took this time off in order to, um, you know, reassess your life. To review your life and to see what was working and what wasn't. Because life wasn't working. It wasn't working out for you. For some in one reason or another, or in one shape, way, or form or another, you know, it's like you weren't able to make a go at it, whether it was in love, 
whether it was financial gain, whether it was career, you know, whatever this is for you, whether it was spiritually, it's like you weren't able to get ahead. You weren't able to make things work out for you. Okay. And things weren't working. And so you took some time out. You did a complete overhaul of your life, Libra. You removed all the distractions. You removed all the obstacles. Oh, that's the first time that happened. You removed all the obstacles. You moved things around. You shook up the energies. You did things differently. You, you shifted everything because things weren't working. And you, 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 you stripped everything down to bare basics. To just, you know, you took everything apart and you just cleaned out the whole slate. And you said, there, now I have nothing. Now I've hit rock bottom. Now there's only one way to go and that's up. So for some of you, you literally, Libra, you literally cleaned out your closet, cleaned out your drawers, cleaned out your home, cleaned out the clutter, took out the garbage. For some of you, you totally minimized your entire life. You left it all behind. You left everything. You let everything go. And you're like, I had the good things. I had the nice car. I had the nice house. I had the nice things, the beautiful clothes, the beautiful everything, the perfumes, the hairsprays, the makeups, the ties, the watches. I had it all. And did it make me happy? And where did it get me? And so for some of you, you've really stripped your whole life down to basics, to like nothing, to, to, to just basic, to basic necessities. That was the change. There was a complete overhaul here. And you left all this behind. And it was a challenge. Oh, yes, it was. It was a challenge. It was time consuming. And you considered all that time where your time went, where your money went, where your energy went, and what you have to show for it. And so now you're leaving this behind. Now you're like, okay, there, my slate is clean. I'm expecting for bigger and better to come in. And so now you're waiting for this change. You're waiting for the, your life to be filled with blessings. For some of you, this was a spiritual awakening that you went through. For some of you, something happened. It could have been years ago or it could have been recent where it shook you to your core. It shook you off your feet and it shook up your life. Like it just rattled your life. And that was the cause to maybe, you know, get rid of everything, downsize your life, take out all the stress, bringing things back to basics. That was, that was the reason why there was such a change and an overhaul. All of this, though, was divinely guided, okay? And it was a spiritual awakening in some way, shape, or form for each and every one of you, okay? You, you didn't have any control over this. This happened. It had to happen, and it happened the way it was meant to happen, okay? Now you're moving on, though. And for some of you, let me tell you, you're receiving spiritual gifts. Oh, yes, Libra. For some of you, Libra, you already have spiritual gifts, okay? And these spiritual gifts are being heightened. They're being augmented, okay? They're being uh, strengthened, improved, new and improved, okay? That's beautiful. Congratulations. Others of you you're getting new gifts in addition to the gifts you already had. And others of you, this is, these are gifts that are awakening to you that you've never even known you'd, you had. They just came out of nowhere and all of a sudden you wake up and you have these spiritual gifts, okay? So for some of you, I'm picking up its dream prophecy. For others of you, I'm picking up um, it's, you know, being an intuitive, being, uh, you know, highly sensitive, highly intuitive, being a sentient being um, that picks things up. You're very, very, very sensitive, highly sensitive. For others of you, you're receiving the gift of mediumship. Others of you, your psychic awareness is strengthening. Others of you, you're able to read Akashic records for people. Others of you, you're able to um, heal like family or ancestral patterning through family constellation. So take this how it resonates. And for some of you, you know, you're able to, you're get very gifted in reading the tarot and doing readings um, yourself. That's beautiful. Congratulations. 
it's always a beneficial tool for, for everyone to, to, you know, dive into this and to dig into it a little, to, to read for yourself as well, to understand how the cards work and to read for yourself. Now, I am going to say, Libra, some of you are also coming into contact with a uh, soulmate, a twin soul, or a twin flame, or your life partner. You're coming into contact with your life partner. And let me tell you, those of you that are coming into contact with your life partner, you know, you will activate them and they will activate you in some way, shape, or form. But definitely, um, you know, some of you are coming into contact with a twin soul here, with a twin fl flame. Some of you might be moving or expanding. Maybe you're getting a puppy. Um, there's some kind of expansion within your home. Um, and also, again, I, I picked up that some of you did the work to release, to let go of things within the home. And if you haven't done so already, Libra, make sure that you do declutter your home. Take some time out. Go through every single drawer. Every single drawer. You know, if you have a couple hours a day, go through a couple hours worth of work every day. If you don't have that much time in a day, go through one drawer a day. Baby steps. Nice and easy, nice and simple, but you are being asked to take out the trash, to declutter your life, to simplify life. If you haven't done so already, because I am picking up a lot of you have done so already. Congratulations to those of you that are coming into contact with your twin soul and coming into contact with a union. That's beautiful. There was something else I was picking up here. Yeah, for some of you, you might be purchasing a home as well. Congratulations. This is beautiful, Libra. You know, the work that you've gone through, the spiritual awakening that you've gone through, the inner work that you've gone through, you know, was not in vain, okay? You will be blessed and rewarded for this um, in different shapes and forms for each and every one of you. For some of you, you'll be rewarded financially. For others of you, you'll be rewarded um, by your spiritual gifts coming online. You know, a lot of you are empaths, a lot of you are star seeds, um, but you definitely are being asked to meditate, Libra. So make sure that you take that time out to meditate. But, you know, all the work that you did, leaving all of this stuff behind and these things that no longer serve you behind, great work, job well done, congratulations. Well, well done. I'm so happy for you. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and if you want this reading to be for you, Libra, make sure you comment down below. It's the best, best way to manifest. Okay, claim this video to be yours. If you're looking for your twin soul, claim it. I claim my twin soul to be right around the corner. If it's money, claim it. Whatever it is for you, Libra, you know, if it's your birthday, you know, it's, it's Libra season happy birthday you know congratulations to all the hard work that you've done the best is yet to come claim it okay and also be sure to hit that notification bell so that way you're advised um, of all of our upcoming uploads we thank you so much for watching we love you each and every one of you if there is someone that you thought of during this video someone just popped into your mind make sure you share this video with a loved one um, you know if people are coming up in your mind while you're watching a video that's your intuition letting you know that they need to hear this video too Okay, so let's share the love. Let's spread the love. We love you ever so much. That was your tarot for today, Libra. Until the next time, um, be sure to be notified. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for subscribing and bye for now. Love you, Libra.